<laughs> okay, we're um, this is Brady part three, and we're gonna pull the alternator out of this and see what's going on and replace it. So, got a charging here. issue with it. <laughs> yes, it doesn't charge whatsoever, it dies. So, first thing you do. Always disconnect your battery. Well, let's get up there first. This is the wrong spot for the for the ground. It's supposed to be on the block, as is what I've been told. Somewhere. We got a shorter cable for that. Yep. And we, yeah, we got to replace the cables anyway. They're worn. Yeah. Bad. There we go. They're clean, but they're old and tired. Also, I'm going to get this starter solenoid and yep. the voltage regulator. And an ignition module. Yeah. Right. And the coil is also going to be replaced. And the coil is going to be replaced so, too. Plus, obviously, a complete tune-up. Yep. And filters. So I'm going to pull the battery to get some a little bit of access. Now, obviously, not necessary, but might as well. It's accessible. Looks like it needs a new uh, battery tray. Yep. Uh, Put the rest. So. It doesn't look well. Yeah, actually, the whole bottom of the pan is rusted out too. So a little bit of work involved there. No, not too bad. I'm not so worried about it. You could put Typical. one of those plastic trays in there. Yeah. If you to, yeah. On top of that, and screw it down into the yeah one there and protect it. That might be a way to do it. Yeah, I'll probably cut the metal back yep. and just do that and put a new tray in. This is a buzz budget restoration yeah who cares yeah okay so first thing i'm going to start with is there's a culprit right there <laughs> what size uh i believe that is a 9 16ths. Alright, we're looking at 9 16 There you go. Basically, this is probably just a couple of. Oops. Whoa! That was kind of loose. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, the. The other bolt is obviously not very tight because yeah. it, shouldn't like uh, it shouldn't move. Okay, so basically it's just yep. that bolt right there. I'm going to take that off. And feels like it's actually a 5 eighths. They're not a 9 not a 9 16. We are looking at that. This right here. I'm just gonna pull it off, pulled out of there first, um, because and then get to the wires. This is gonna be more easier. It's gonna be easier to get to and access yeah, that way. With all this emission stuff sitting in the way. Yep. Someday the emission stuff will go. I'll strip the engine bay. But for right now, when I when I'm in the process of building this vehicle and getting it running and driving, it's simply just gonna be. Um, unmodified so except for the stuff that has to go in order to get the vehicle to run right like if there's catalytic converters or toast or something like that that would be the only reason I would mod the vehicle and I want to hear stuff from you Ford people and Chevy people because that right there has a new engine going in it it's sitting in the garage <laughs> so there's a Chevy this it's the Ford, and that bad boy there is mine. Yep. And then there's two and down then the there's old blue down there, and 
Then the send down there. I don't think you can see it. There's an F-250 down there that's ours. 4x4. Four four. Extended care. That thing in the center is not ours. No. Thank God. All right. So, getting the long bolt out of there. Now, they might have to move the fan in order to get this out. What size was it? That was five a 5.8. Five eight. So, I'm going to push your fan back. Do not hit your radiator when you're pushing, pulling this bolt out. And also, you might have a spacer back here. So, you're going to have to watch for that. It might be bolted to the alternator, so not that big a deal. Okay, so we got that bolt out. Wow, that's uh, a, that is a monster bolt. That's a long, uh, okay. long bolt. And you can pull that okay. belt off. And we're just going to leave the belt right there. Yeah, how's the belt? Um, actually, the boat comes off without Is having to. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. No Doesn't look the, like it's broke or no cracked or anything. Nothing. The car was maintained before we bought it, so. Yeah, an elderly lady owned it. Yeah, until so it she actually just <laughs> parked it. Yep, I bet you gas prices, or she just didn't. Got too old to drive it. Yeah, probably. Okay, there's a spacer that I have to watch out for. So it's a loose spacer. So when you pull it. Oh, there we go. Yep. We you got to be careful because you don't want to lose, lose that, that spacer. We'll clean that up. Yep. It's aluminum. So be gentle with it. We'll have to put it in the parts washer. Yep. Okay. So here's our alternator. Should be able to set that on the battery tray, I think. Yep. All right. Sounds good, bro. Um, I'm going to pass that a little bit. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> Don't take out the AC. Yeah. Um, oops. This just should be able to set it around it or something like that. Okay, set it. Because there you go. All right, let's just do that. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't smart trying to pin it underneath there. All right, so it looks like. Uh oh. What? Wasn't there three wires connected? Am I just imagining that? No, I thought there was only two. What the hell? Oh, there's a vacuum uh, tree there. Just randomly sitting there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, about Give that. Give me hand. That oh, right yeah, there. There's a vacuum tree sitting there. All connected yeah, up. Gonna look, see where that goes. Yeah, it's... Huh. That might be something we might actually eliminate. Have to see where it goes first. Yeah, because Trace this is kind of hanging out there. Doing just about nothing. I was gonna look and make sure I didn't ma make a mistake. No, I think it's only two wire. Oh, uh, there oh, is there are three. Wire. One, two, three. Okay, so we're to getting this on video that we have our orange here, our black in the middle, and then the, then the bolted one on the side. Okay. And they're all side by side. These two simply should just come up. No, without issue. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, so I did. They're kind of like a spark plug boot, old spark plug boot. So you'd have to be gentle work them. Well, a tiny old spark plug oh, boot just looking plug thing. Oh. Yeah, they're just kind of hanging out there. Cool. Kind of pull that back, put it back in the thing right there. Sweet. So this one, we're going to work it a different way. We're just going to pull it off like that. Oh. And then this oh, one. Plugs? Nope, this third one is a bolt. And fill it. Plug. And this one is a nut. This is the um, wire that powers it. Plugs. Okay. Okay, be gentle because we have a radiator hose here. But I think we're okay for right now. I don't think we're gonna, That's not gonna be bother too That's much. Not gonna be okay, and that was what a three eighths, I assume. Seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. Okay, it's now I lost a <laughs> lost a half inch. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm using a half inch socket set. Who cares? It is actually yeah, well, we really, got a quarter inch set over there. really easy job to do. Super easy job. And with these little bolts, you put them right back on, back it all yep. in there so you don't lose them. And why we're pulling this and we don't have a new one to replace it, right away is number one. They want to know how many volts this yeah, is. Yeah, they said there was a 60, I mean a 40 volt, a 75 volt, and a 100 volt. Yeah. And they also needed to know which way it was clocked. Which way the uh, stuff was clocked. So when we're looking at this, this is clocked this way. Yeah. Apparently. Well, these were at the top. Yeah. Up here. So he said it was here clocked at 9, 12, or 1. Yep. This is a Remy. It has a bunch of technical sports stuff. It actually sounds good. And it looks new. Yeah, yeah, this is been so. A, I'm wondering. We'll I'm have wondering. this inspected. We'll have taken that. We test, wonder but if I'm it wondering could be this. That. Because we have no, we have no alternator. That looks original. It kill the car just dies. Where this yeah. baby here has been replaced. Yeah, but we'll have to check. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you never know. It could the alternator just could have killed over real yeah. quick. It's probably Chinese. <laughs> Um, I have no idea. Remy, Remy could be American. I don't know. Well, all right, that's going to conclude this episode for Brady until we go get this exchange yeah. at the parts place yep. and find out what's going on. And we'll, we'll get into episode four, getting this back in and checking and seeing if it's charging. Yep. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye.